a lot of money into it unless you've had that, experience that's how, doing that's it. That's how we did it years ago. We did, a, we did one free job and we get paid ever since. Now how much you can charge, that depends on the market that you're in and what your competition's doing. It also depends on your relationship you have with your customers. I forgot to get the closes. Oh yeah, get that. It depends on the relationship with your customers. And if you're in a market that has a lot of competition, you probably can't make very much money on most of your jobs, at least when you're getting started, until you start getting referrals. Yeah, there is no one who can give you actual financial advice to tell you how to get rich in a poor part of the country. Yeah. In a poor part of the country, you work cheaper. In a richer part of the country, you work for more money. That's really just basic common sense and logic. Uh, don't listen to people who tell you how to get rich in the middle of a drought. It just don't yeah. matter. We live in an area there's only five other cleaners in town, and they've all been in business. We just showed up in this community less than 10 years ago, and they've all been in business for 20, 30 years. And the reason we get jobs is because none of them really do very good work. They don't work good. They charge a lot of money, but they don't do very good uh, jobs. They, they leave stains behind. They, they don't pre-vacuum. They, they kind of slop about their work. And not to insult truck mats, but they're all truck mat cleaners. Yeah. So we're the only ones who don't clean the truck mats. We are clean every last one of them. If you want to get in business, a truck mat stuff, but you don't need one to do a professional business. Well, we did this job here pretty quickly. We're gonna, we, have to, we have to go ahead and rake the carpets, and then we'll be done. We, uh, we See how long it takes to clean the carpets. Yeah, this is a continuous thing. All right, he's going to put that up. We're going to go in ahead and uh, turn off the video, and we're going to rake the carpets. I don't think we want to rake, a, rake them on, on camera, though. I'll just... Rake them on camera? Uh, well, i got to put my kitchen up. We'll, we'll turn the camera on at the last minute and rake them. You can see the farmers also. I'm not going to show raking because I'll tell you oh, why. Okay. <clears throat> Every time we put a, a raking video up recently, people just don't care about uh, that much. So you guys got to see a bonnet cleaning video. Start we'll show you the uh, show them the stalling. A lot of people have asked us, how do you care? What do you what if you have to carry that rope over? You know, there's no wheels on it. What do you got here? Three, four, five hundred feet? Twenty-five dollars at Home Depot. Yeah, he put a carpet on the bottom to I protect the, just, uh, to, just to protect the pad driver. Yeah. But it, you just, it folds up. You can fit it in a space the size of a coat hanger. And it's lightweight enough you can carry the dolly and the uh, or yeah. up the stairs. So, well. <clears throat> We're going to wrap it up, I think. We're going to rake the carpet. You guys get the gist of what they're going to look like. Uh, they're going to look pretty much uh, perfect. This was an easy job, and the orc really paid for itself. Once now, for us, it's Friday night, and that means it's time to order a pizza. We'll be home in half an hour, and a pizza will be coming in a half an hour later. Yeah. So, a pizza, a piece. Hope you guys all have a good Friday night, whatever night it is you're watching this. But that's about all for this job. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to be nice in the comments or else. And uh, till next time, thanks for watching.